Hello, I'm Waffles Are Better. In this video, I will be taking an in-depth look into two of the parameters inside of the dimension type file. That would be the height parameter and the minimum y parameter. And you need to use both of these together to determine how high and low the blocks in your dimension will generate or how high and low you can place blocks. And I have already gone over this in a previous video, I believe in my first custom dimension video, except I did not give as in-depth of an explanation just to keep the video shorter. So this video just gives some more detailed examples and explains how that works just a little bit better. There will be a link in the description to my original video that goes over the whole dimension type file. So if you want a briefer explanation about what this stuff does, or you want to just create the file first before you get a better in-depth explanation, then I suggest checking that out first. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the overworld dimension type as an example, but of course this works for any kind of dimension type. And one thing that I want to do before I start this in-depth tutorial is do a little bit of reorganizing in this file, because if you didn't know, it doesn't really matter which order the things in this file are. All right, I've reordered the file. Basically what I have is everything that is related to how blocks and coordinates in the world work is in this section and everything related to effects and how the dimension looks are in this section, and then everything that actually has to do with uh, game mechanics in this dimension are in this section, and then has ceiling, uh, I just thought didn't really fit into any of these sections. So the first two parameters are height and minimum y, and so what height does is it determines the total range of blocks along the y-axis of the world. So in the overworld, the height is 256 and the minimum y is 0, which means that you can build from uh, block 0 to the height 255, because in total there are 256 blocks in the world height. However, if you set min y to 16, for example, because both height and min y do need to be a multiple of 16. And I should mention that minimum y has to be between negative 2032 and positive 2016. And height has to be between 0 and 4064. So if the min y was 16 and the height was 256, that would mean that you could place blocks from the height 16 to the height 271 because that would be 256 blocks starting at block 16. Let me show some examples of what that would look like. So here, of course, is a regular world, but does not have the data pack in it. And so the minimum Y is zero and the height is 256. So if I go all the way down here, as you can see, I have reached bedrock. If I go into spectator mode, you can see that this block that is the bottom of the world right here is targeted block zero on the y-axis. So I can build all the way up until I reach the block 255. And then once I reach 255, I cannot build any higher. I can only build along the x and z axis. And so the reason it is 255 and not 256 is that it counts the bottom block in the world zero as one of the 256 blocks and so 255 plus the one block zero is 256. So now I have loaded up a world with a minimum y of 16 and a total height of 256 and so I can still go all the way down to the bottom of the world and as you can see once I reach 16 the world abruptly stops and I can't place anything below it. So I'm now at the height of 16 and this is the lowest block in the world. If I do slash fill uh, from my coordinates to um, let's just say 255 diamond block I guess. Um, I'm then going to go into spectator mode and go all the way up to this diamond block pillar. So I've reached the top of the pillar, and as you can see, instead of being at block 256, I am now standing on block 271. And the highest block for building is 271, because that is 255 blocks above block 16. This means your world can be higher up, however, uh, it will also carve the 16 blocks off the bottom of the world. 
However, there is something you can do to fix that. If I go back to my data pack, all you really have to do is add 16 to the height. So let's say I want the minimum Y to be um, maybe negative 32. And remember, it does have to be a multiple of 16, but I still want the maximum height to be 256. All I have to do is add 32 to the height. So that would be 288, I believe. And that will mean that the height of the world uh, will be a total of 288 blocks, but the lowest block in the world will be negative 32, which means the highest block in the world will be 288 blocks above negative uh, 32. So the highest block should still be 255. I've loaded up the new data pack. I'm now going to just dig all the way down to bedrock again. And so I should be able to build 32 blocks below bedrock. So let's see if that actually worked. So right now, uh, as you can see, the water is actually flowing down under the bedrock, which if you didn't know is impossible because you can't have blocks below bedrock. Um, so let me see. Yes, I'm at block zero right now, and this is where the layer of bedrock is. So if I then give myself a diamond block, I can then build all the way down under the bedrock, which is normally the bottom of the world, down to this block, which as you can see is block negative 32. So you can actually make the bedrock generate further down, and I believe I've also covered that in a previous video, just not an in-depth one. So the world goes down 32 blocks, but if I build all the way up, you can see that the height limit for building is still 255, because going back to my data pack, you can see that the height I specified is 288, but that should be subtracted by 32, because that's what the minimum Y is. So basically, since the height is still 255, um, all that I've done is add an extra 32 blocks to the bottom of my world. That's it for this video. If you have any questions about anything I covered in this video, you can ask me in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for future videos that are in-depth like this, then you can give me those in the comments as well. I am planning on covering everything in the dimension type file, and probably also everything else in all of the different files that I have gone over. And you can also join my Discord server to get help with stuff there. Again, I just want to thank every single one of you guys just for everything. I recently hit 500 subscribers, and that's just that's just mind-blowing to me. So thank you guys so much, and thanks for watching.